short and long hair. My short fur keeps my body warm, and my long hair keeps me from getting wet. You can stand the cold because of your hair. Yeah. Did you know that my skin color is black? I can stand the cold better because black skin absorbs sunlight and keeps my body warm. Really? Do you see the black soles of my feet here? The skin color inside the fur is the same. I see. By the way, you have very big feet. <laughs> my heavy body doesn't fall into the snow thanks to my two big feet. My feet are covered with tiny bumps, so I don't fall even on slippery snow. Oh, you were looking for penguins. Ask the Arctic fox over there. She might know. We will! Thank you, Polar Bear! Hi, Arctic Fox! Have you seen penguins today? <laughs> Who are penguins? Aw, you haven't seen them either. Wow, Junie! Arctic Fox is so cute! I agree. I'm cuter than the other foxes you know. Animals that live in cold places like us have blunt heads, snouts, and short legs so that we don't lose heat from our bodies. <laughs> That's cool! You are very white and furry! 
I can stand the cold well because I have a lot of hair and fat like polar bears. My white fur protects me from enemies at the snowy North Pole. If we play hide and seek with you, Arctic Fox, I don't think we'll find you. <laughs> But after the snow melts and winter passes, we change our fur clothes to another color. Oh, why don't you ask the walrus over there where the penguin is? Yeah! It, it was, was nice meeting you, Arctic Fox! Hi, walrus! Oh, hi, guys! You have ivories like elephants! Yeah, my ivories are also called morse. I use these as walking sticks when I walk and as hooks when I go up on the ice. And you have a lot of whiskers. Yes, I do. I have about 450 whiskers. They are so stiff that they are really useful for finding clams underwater. I do love clams. By the way, why did you call me? Oh, we wanted to ask you if you know where penguins are. Penguins? Penguins are not here. Uh, they're not? Nope. The penguins you're looking for live at the South Pole. This is the North Pole. What's going on, Junie? They live in cold places, so I thought they live at the North Pole, too. Thank you, Walrus. We're going to the South Pole. Okay. Goodbye. Choopy, 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 choo! To the South Pole! Achoo! Uh, the South Pole is colder. The South Pole is actually colder than the North Pole because it is covered with thick ice and cannot absorb warm solar heat. I read it in a book. Oh, do penguins live in this cold place? I really want to meet cute penguins. We have a lot of fat in our bodies, but it's not easy to overcome the cold alone at the South Pole. So we stick together. Penguin! Cute penguins were at the South Pole all along. Hi, I'm Emperor Penguin. I represent the South Pole. I look cute when I waddle with short legs, but when I go into the water, I'm a gentleman of the South Pole who swims fast. You are! You really look like a gentleman wearing a tuxedo! <laughs> By the way, is this your baby? The penguin following you? Yes, he is. It was hard to hold an egg on my feet while enduring the cold of the South Pole. I'm so proud that my baby came out of the egg in good health. What did Mother Penguin do? When Mother Penguin lays an egg and goes to eat, it's up to me, the father penguin, to hatch the egg. The egg doesn't freeze if we put it on our feet and incubate it with warm feathers. Whoa! You couldn't have been moving because of the egg. Nope. I incubate the egg for two months. I don't even eat anything. That's amazing! Hmm, I'm glad we came all the way to the South Pole to meet the penguins. Penguin is a true gentleman of the South Pole. <laughs> Am I? Guys, would you like to listen to the other animal dad stories who take care of their babies like penguins? From the river I'm a daddy stickleback I can't take my eyes off of you every day I fight to the end Even in any dangerous attacks I will protect you To make sure you're okay Podbellied I'm a daddy seahorse I endure rough flow Wind my tail to not be found I hide between water plants For your safety, of course I will wait for you To be born safe and sound I'm okay, I'm your dad Because I really love you. I'm okay, I'm your dad because I care about you. 
It's because I'm your dad It's because you're my world It's because you're Everything to me From the North Pole I'm a daddy arctic wolf Despite the strong winds I go out to get food for you the only thing I want is your happiness, that's all My love for you is so tried and true You must be hungry too Oh, there's my dad! From the South Pole, I'm a daddy emperor penguin I can't take my eyes off Precious kid there has ever been I'll never let you go For you I'm here to stay I'm okay, I'm your dad Because I really love you I'm okay, I'm your dad Because I care about you It's because I'm your dad because you're my world It's because you're Everything to me Something on your butt. <laughs> Can a fox live in such a hot place like here? Hi, I'm Fennec Fox, the smallest fox in the world. My ears are big compared to my small body, so I can radiate heat from my body. I can find food well because I can also listen to quiet sounds. Thanks to my big ears, I can live in this hot desert. Oh, you have long fur in your ears. Yeah, my fur protects my ears from the sand. My paws are also furry, so I can walk well without falling into the hot sand. That's amazing! Fennec Fox, please introduce us to the other animal friends living in the desert. Oh no, I need to sleep now to hunt at night. But sure! Who should I introduce first? Introduce me first. I, Camel, represent the desert. I'll tell you how I can live in a desert where water is precious. When I drink water, I drink a lot at once and let very little water out of my body so I can endure it without drinking water for at least four to five days to 20 days tops. Wow! Also, my eyelashes are long and I can open and close my nostrils freely to keep sand out. My feet are wide so my feet don't fall into the sand. And my long legs help avoid the hot heat of the sand. Look how long my legs are! These are my ankles! <laughs> oh, I thought they were your knees! Whoa, you do have long legs! Camel, what is that thing sticking out on your back? It's my lovely and precious hump. Why is your hump precious? Ah, is it where you keep your treasure? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. My hump is full of fat. I eat branches or grass. And when there is no food in the desert, I can hold out thanks to the fat in the hump. Instead, the bump gets smaller and smaller. Aha! Just like Tony's tummy. Aw, Junie! <laughs> camels with one hump, like me, are called Arabian camels. And camels with two humps are called Batrian camels. Hey, guys. I'll introduce myself, too. 
Hi! Who are you? Hi, Junie Tony. I'm Meerkat, the guard of the desert. I look around carefully and observe as guards do. You look like you're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> we can smell very well and find food in the ground with our long front toenails. But we can't look around when we find food, so we're vulnerable to predators. That's why we take turns standing guard. It's really cool that you guys cooperate. The desert is hot during the day and cold at night, so we enjoy the sun outside the cave by sunrise. Do you see the dark stripes on my back? They help me to absorb lots of sunshine. Now I know how meerkats can live in the desert. Wait. I'll introduce myself, too. Ah, it's a scorpion. Yeah. I'm Scorpion with a pointed poison stinger. <laughs> in fact, I'm a nocturnal animal who rests under stones or the ground during the day and goes hunting at night. But I came out since I represent the desert. Uh, <laughs> thank you, I guess. We walk lightly on the sand with a pair of big front claws and eight legs. How cool am I? Even though I can't see well, I can feel the vibration of the ground with my body. So hunting is no problem. My body is piled up in hard shells, which is why I can live in the desert. These shells keep the water in my body. Front claws and hard shells, you look like a crayfish. Nah, -uh. Are you serious? Can't you see this scary poisonous stinger at the end of my curved tail? <laughs> oh, yeah. I found a yummy scorpion here. <laughs> huh? What? A scorpion? Uh, Aww, stop, stop right, right there! there. <laughs> the scary scorpion's natural enemies were fennec foxes and meerkats. <laughs> <laughs> the blazing sunshine, ha ha, is so hot. Shimmering sand, ha ha, in desert. I love the hot desert. I love hot sunshine. I am Bumpy Camel with a huge hump. Big enough to keep my bag full of nutrients. Here I am, the camel, the humpy camel. I love the hot desert. I love hot sunshine. I am meerkat, sting alert all day. Desert, I love hot sunshine. I am Scorpion with a pair of claws. Watch out for my stinger at the end of my tail. Here I am, the Scorpion, the scary Scorpion. I love the hot desert. I love hot sunshine. I am Bennett Fox with large ears. Sleeping in my den by day, catching prey by night. Oh, it's been too long. How've you been? I've been good. Look at you. You are stunning. Oh, yeah. I got a tan at the beach. Do I look okay? <laughs> a tan? Oh, I'm sweating already. I hate the hot sun. Um, well, I'm not a big fan of the cold winter. Ho, ho, come on. Haven't you heard of White Christmas? Ha! You must enjoy the bikini season on Christmas! Uh, wait, wait, wait! Uh, listen! You'll love a freezing, pleasing winter Christmas! 
On a sleigh full of presents Flying in the glistening snow For this long-awaited event Our pounding hearts are aglow Christmas in the winter time It's cold when the sleigh bells shine Merry, happy, frosty Christmas I love Christmas in the winter time Oh, it must be bone chilling cold. I'll show you what a cozy, breezy summer Christmas looks like. On a surfboard full of sunshine, swimming with sea animal friends. Christmas palm trees along the coastline, the Christmas ornaments. Christmas in the summertime, it's hot when the sleigh bells shine. Merry, happy, sunny Christmas. I love Christmas in the summer. Drinking hot chocolate by the fireplace. Barbecuing with fire is commonplace. Wanna join the gingerbread house party? Better not miss the beach dance party. <laughs> Cold in the winter Christmas. Hot in the summer Christmas. Frosty winter. Crazy summer. I love Christmas in the winter. In the summertime. Oh no! Christmas isn't bad at all. <laughs> I love hot Christmas. <sighs> I have to go back. It's too hot for me. You're going to read a fairy tale again, aren't you? You read fairy tales every day, Junie. But I never get tired of fairy tales. They are so fascinating. Are they? Which princess story is the most interesting? Snow White, for sure. No, I mean Cinderella. But then, Snow White. No, C Cinderella. <laughs> Tell me, Junie, which princess is your favorite? Wow! Of course, my story is the most interesting. Do you want to listen to it? Whoa. Yeah! Skin as white as snow, hair as black as ebony. I grew up in a big castle, Snow White. What matters is the story after that. I ran away into the woods to escape from the queen. For the seven dwarfs, I worked and cleaned. I did all the chores it was worth working for. I even survived from eating a poisoned apple. Snow White! All time favorite fairy tale. Snow White, the one and only princess. Snow White, the seven dwarfs, the poisoned apple. a good story, but I have a better story. Wow, Cinderella! The famous glass slipper star of the royal ball. I married a prince, Cinderella. What matters is the story before that. My stepmother and stepsisters were very mean to me. I couldn't have anything nice, I wasn't free. Hmm. I had to be brave, I was well behaved. I even made it to the royal ball. Cinderella! All time favorite fairy tale. Cinderella! The one and only princess. Cinderella! Shiny glass slippers. Royal ball pumpkin coach. Magical fairy tale. Cinderella! <laughs> Do you want to hear about the seven dwarfs? <laughs> Let me tell you about my fairy godmother. All time favorite fairy tale, Snow White. The one and only princess, Cinderella. My prince charming, and my prince charming, Snow White, Snow White, Cinderella. Uh, did, did you decide, Junie? My favorite fairy tale is the one and only The Little Mermaid. She gave her 
voice to the sea witch to meet the prince she loved. And she even became a human. But the prince got married to the princess of the neighboring country. Every time I read this part, I can't help but Wow! Snow White, the Little Mermaid, Rapunzel! My favorite princesses are all here! I'll buy the Little Mermaid and Rapunzel too! <laughs> oh, hold on, Junie! Relax and just choose one! But I can't just choose one princess! Come on, Junie! You can do it! So, which one? The Little Mermaid? No. Rapunzel? Ah, uh, I can't choose one! I love them both! Hmm. Wow! What is there to think about? It's me! Or maybe she meant me, Rapunzel! <laughs> Let's see who your favorite princess is! took my beautiful voice and I got two legs. Wow! There are so many princesses in fairy tales, but she's the bravest of them all. She faced her fear and never failed. She met her beloved prince, the little mermaid. The sea witch was so scary. Ooh! Wow! You were very brave. I'll tell you my story. La 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 la, Rapunzel. I live in a high la, tower. La, 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 Rapunzel. I imagine things la, for la, hours. La, la, Rapunzel. Well, golden hair's my power. La, 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 Rapunzel. Your favorite princess. I've always wanted to travel the world. I want to escape from this tower. For there's the world to see. My golden but I became free. Wow! There are so many princesses in fairy tales, but she's the coolest of them all. She faced her fear and never failed. She had a great adventure. Rapunzel, the brave and cool princesses, the little mermaid, and Rapunzel. Which princess is it? Well, I'll go with... Oh, wait! It's a new transforming robot! I'll go with this! Oh, yeah! Come on, Tony, let's go to the counter! Oh, okay. Let's buy a princess doll next time. Uh, bye! Seriously? Let's just go back to where we were, Rapunzel. Hmm. Next question! This animal is super lazy. It's the laziest animal on... I know! It's Panda! Wrong, wrong, wrong! The answer is Sloth! Junie, I just said the laziest animal! What? But hey! Do you know how lazy pandas are? I'm sure sloths are way lazier than pandas. Huh! Then let's go and check it out! Choopy, 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 choo! Yahoo! Ah! Look, 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 look at the panda over there Eating bamboo all day except for bedtime Just can't be bothered to live in groups Lolling around, lazy but playful, lovable Panda! So 
people climb up trees so fast? Sleep, Junie. I think they are both too lazy. You're right. Let's just take them back to their trees and we'll continue with the animal quiz. Yeah. <laughs> Let's protect the endangered animals. Tony, what does endangered mean? It means they're going to be extinct on Earth, like the dinosaurs. What? Are those animals in the picture going to disappear soon? Sadly, yes. They have been with us for a long time, but we may not see them on Earth in the future. Tony! Tony! Protect the endangered animals! Chippy, 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 choo! The Earth is in pain! Chippy, 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 choo! Let's protect the Earth! Black fur patches around my eyes My friends leave me as the day goes by A bamboo forest where we used to play I'm left alone, I miss the old days Cool stripes made me fearless and brave But when my friends were gone, I couldn't save A wide field we used to gallop away I'm left alone, I miss the old days All my friends unwillingly bail Deep in the ocean we used to swim away I'm left alone, I miss the old days White fur and giant feet With my friends we felt complete Here we used to catch lots of prey I'm left alone, I miss the old days that we are all in this together, the same place, the same earth. I didn't realize that there are so many endangered animals. Giant pandas are losing their habitat because people keep developing building sites. Tigers are being hunted by the poachers and vaquita porpoises are being trapped in abandoned fishing nets. And the number of polar bears is also gradually decreasing due to global warming. These animals are endangered because of environmental pollution and indiscriminate hunting. If the animals can't survive on the Earth, people can't either. Let's promise to protect the Earth for all of us. Let's stop global warming for humans and for animals. Let's do it all together. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Due to global warming, the glaciers in the Arctic are melting and polar bears are losing their habitat. The polar bears are unable to find enough sustenance. Poor polar bears, the glaciers are melting. Global warming? Does it mean the Earth is getting hotter? That's right, Jimmy Tony. Please save the endangered polar bears. Junie! Tony! Global warming! Chippy, 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 choo! The Earth is in pain! Chippy, 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 choo! Let's protect the Earth! Hot, make it hotter! Hot, make it hotter! Let's make the Earth hotter! Come 
from fossil fuels you create Coal, natural gas and oil, now I feel so spoiled I became a bigger carbon, covered the earth like curtains Let the heat be trapped on earth! <laughs> we should use less fossil fuels that emit carbon! It's hotter without a doubt Scorching heat causes the drought to certify Check it out, it's glaciers all around Look at the sinking ground And there's no way out <laughs> Let's get rid of the mean carbon monster together Pull out, pull out, fast burn Waste electricity, no, no Turn off the prairie faucet Waste water, no, no Through, through, instead of cars Public transit, oh yeah how to protect our Earth from global warming. First, do you know what emits carbon? Carbon is emitted when fossil fuels such as oil, coal, and natural gas are used. In order to use fewer fossil fuels that emit carbon, it is important to not waste energy. To save electricity, pull out the plug if it's not being used. Let's not waste water. Let's often take public transit, such as buses and subways. Let's protect our precious Earth from the mean carbon monster. See you next time. Agent Mona, have you ever heard of winter sports? Of course, Agent Mia. I love all winter sports. Oh, do you? I love archery the most among winter sports. Archery? Archery is one of the summer sports. There are summer sports and there are winter sports. Winter sports are for sports practiced on snow and ice. Really? What does winter sports include? Well, there are... There... Um... There are... Uh, don't know exactly either, do you? Uh -oh. Jimmy! Tony!
order to... Wow! This water park is so huge! I can't wait to jump into the pool! Swimming pool, water slides, wave machines, here I come! Oh no! Whoa! For water playing. Remember to warm up as well. Bend and stretch, I'm doing well. Please don't run, no, no running. Slippery floors, no, no rushing. Remember, there's no diving either. Don't wanna bump against each other. Ha, 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 ha!